Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name is Nigel. This is the introduction to a new video series where we demonstrate how to implement video streaming applications using Kotlin on Android. We will be implementing three applications in this series. Each application will be similar in nature. When you start the application, while the video from the internet is buffering, we will show a progress bar. And additionally, all the video applications will have media control of buttons, buttons where you can play and pause the video. First episode is the video view streaming application. It uses a video view, which is basically a wrapper on top of the media controller. So a lot of the implementation is already provided for you, which makes this the fastest and the easiest app to implement. So it's recommended for people who are new to Android or new to writing their own video streaming applications. Second episode in the video streaming series, we talk about the media player using a surface view. So we do create a surface view and we provide that to the media player. Also, we discuss the different media player states such as idle, initialized and prepared and what you can and can't do in those states. We also describe how you can get the width and height dimensions from the video itself and use that to resize the surface view just for setting our width and dimensions for our surface view. It does involve a lot more coding to the media player using the media player with a surface view compared to the video view but you get a deeper understanding of how the media player works. Following on from the media player tutorial in this tutorial will explain how to integrate a media controller into your media player. A media controller basically provides you your buttons, your play pause buttons to give you your control over the media player. Also in the media controller you do need to implement the media player control and implement the methods inside that and do the initialization and set up in the right places. Do note that this tutorial is only for the professional members of the website. In the final episode of the streaming series, we will explain how to create an application using the ExoPlayer. We will go into detail about what components need to be created in what order. And we also will be using a dash URL for the ExoPlayer. And with the ExoPlayer, we do get provided with media buttons out of the box so we don't actually have to worry about implementing a media controller for this episode. The entire series is already available to the professional members of the website though each episode will be released on a weekly basis first to the free members of the website followed to being made available on YouTube a few days later. One thing to note is the a media controller episode which is an add-on to the media player will only be available for the professional members of the website. You can get professional membership by a link in the description and I'll also provide a card explaining how to get hold of the professional membership. Anyway, thank you for taking the time for watching this. I hope you do enjoy the video series. Bye for now.